because election day is coming up really, really fast. You guys know who I'm voting for, but I encourage all of you to do one thing this year, and that is to vote early. Voting early, make sure that your vote is cast in a secure, monitored environment. It also offers a lot more flexibility and convenience. It also relieves pressure on poll workers by voting early so they don't have to count as many ballots on election day. And voting early gives you time to correct any mistakes that might happen, and you'll have enough time to get those addressed to make sure that your vote counts. Remember guys, election day is the deadline, not the start. In a lot of states around this country, you could start voting as early as right now. Remember guys, voting early is the best way to ensure that your vote is counted. Democracy only works if it's for the people, by the people. So let's do this guys, let's get out there early, let's vote, let's swamp the polls, let's make this too big. And you guys know who I'm voting for, Donald J. Trump, God bless Trump, vote early. All right, good morning from Tampa, Florida. It is, uh, what day is today? October 25th? I don't even know. But we are heading to the polls early to vote. I want to put my money where my mouth is. And I told you guys to vote early. We got to swamp the polls. We got to make this too big to rig. So I'm going to go vote early right now. I'm very excited about it. And uh, you guys should be going early too. Vote early. It's safe. It's secure. It gives you time to correct your ballots if there's any mistakes. It also releases pressure from the poll workers. So definitely go vote early. And let's, uh, let's make this thing done before election day. Let's make the margin so big that there's no chance of Kamala coming back. Anyway, after this, I'm gonna be heading down to uh, Clearwater Beach to ask people who they're voting for, Trump or Kamala. And we're gonna encourage people today to make sure that they vote early as well. So that's gonna be the mission today. Vote early, vote early, vote early. And uh, make sure you share this message. As always, God bless Trump. I'll see you guys at the polls. Man, how are you? What up? I'm on my way to early vote. That's I love to hear. Let me just shake your hand. Let You're on video, by the way. What's up, man? How's it going? That's we gotta it. win it. We're flipping Florida 14th red. I got our, our GOP finalist Rocky Rockford over here. Yeah, I saw him. And he's gonna take care of this community in a way that Caster has just forgotten us. It's all she does is rubber stamp whatever Pelosi says. That's not good enough. Rocky's got our back. Awesome. Look at this. Uh, they got this cyber truck. It's going to early vote for you, Rocky. These are two real men right here. Two real men. Trump Vance. Three real men. And Rocky Rockford. Here he is. Hey, Good how you to see doing? you again. Good to see you again. I can vote for you today, right? Yes, sir. You All can. right, I'm gonna be a voter early. I'll make sure I check your name out. Please do. Hell yeah, man. Top Thank you. Pilot. Whose car is this? Mine. That's nice. Yeah. You I got it wrapped and everything? Yeah, this is a Navy pilot for 22 years. Thank you for the service. My pleasure, you're worth it. And uh, this is more of a uh, Flying Tigers Army Air Corps style yeah. with a Navy twist. So awesome. I'm Patrick. What's your name again? Adam. Cheers, Adam. Adam Francisco. Thanks, for, Thanks for being out here. All right, my pleasure. I'll see you later, Rocky. Right. So that was unexpected. I just saw the cyber truck. I saw the Trump van sign, I had to pull over and interview them real quick. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of content and uh, we're gonna continue heading to the polls right now. I cannot wait to cast this vote. All right, we made it to uh, downtown Tampa. We are now heading to the, uh, to the polls and I cannot wait to cast my ballot for the greatest president of my lifetime, Donald J. Trump, let's go. for Donald J. Trump and we did Republicans down ballot. I want to be transparent with you guys. I did vote yes on Amendment 3, which is for marijuana, and I did vote no on Amendment 4 because I don't believe in killing babies. And uh, that's it. 2024 election for me is, as far as voting, it's done. It feels good. I scanned my ballots. No problems at the machine. It said your ballot's been counted. So I am good to go. That is a vote for Donald Trump, and I hope you guys do the same. Vote early. It'll give you time to correct your ballots, and uh, it'll make sure that there's a higher likelihood that we find out who is our next president on election day. So, vote early. Let's swamp the polls. Let's make it too big to rig. And now we're gonna head over to uh, Clearwater Beach to do some street interviews. As always, God bless Trump. Just FYI, Clearwater Beach is still a mess from all the storms. I was not thinking about that when I decided to come here today to do my video. So there is sand everywhere where it does not belong. And this is probably from Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton. So just be aware if you're gonna to come to Clearwater Beach, <laughs> it's pretty empty right now because of all the damage. 
So guys, it is absolutely dead here. I've never seen Clearwater Beach this empty before. It's kind of eerie actually. And as you can see, there's just a lot of destruction and chaos everywhere. It kind of reminds me of a Kamala Harris presidency. Uh, but we're gonna try to still do a video here today. It's gonna be lean, um, but try to interview people as they walk by, see who they're voting for, Kamala or Trump. Let's see what happens. God bless Trump and God bless Clearwater Beach. Guys, even the piers are closed here. Parking's closed. We're out here at Clearwater Beach. Let's ask people Trump or Kamala. Let's see what happens. How you doing? You guys voting for Trump or Kamala? Trump. Well, we can't vote, but... But if you could, you'd yeah. vote for Trump. <laughs> Trump or Kamala? Conway West. Okay, all right. <laughs> hey, he's a, he's a Trump surrogate. He's, <laughs> he's a Trump surrogate. I'll take it. I gotta ask you, you vote for uh, Donald Trump or Kamala? Uh, no comment. All right. How about that? No, no problem. Yeah. It's your body, your choice. No, your body, your choice. Yeah. Oh, I truly, yeah, I'm definitely that. Because it is so empty here today. I've never seen it like this before. It's actually kind of nice that it's this quiet and chill. It's actually kind of nice. Can they ask you Oh, I have no idea. I'm only here to ask people Trump or Kamala. Sorry, my English is not so good. Donald Trump? Or Kamala Harris? Uh, don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm from Europe, from Austria, Vienna. But you still have an opinion. I have no idea. All right. I'll vote Trump. We've got to save this country. Oh, you said the other guy said Kanye. <laughs> All right, but but of the of the eligible nominees, if it's Trump or Kamala, who are you going to go oh, for? Hell, it'd be Trump by far. Why are you voting Trump? Because my life was so much better when he was president. Yep. Than these two fucking idiots. My man. You heard it here, guys. That was a, a short, concise, but sweet answer. Our lives were better. Now, look, if you are a multimillionaire, you're a billionaire, you're an elitist, life doesn't change for you because you can afford inflation rates. You can afford mortgage rates to go up. You can afford gas prices. You can afford an open border because you live in a private community. You can afford stricter gun laws because you have private security. So your life is unaffected when you're one of the elites. So their opinion to me means shit. It doesn't matter. We, the people, the vast majority of Americans, we're affected by those things. And the majority of Americans, our lives were better under Donald J. Trump. And that's a fact. The October surprise has dropped apparently that a Mexican soldier was killed. And when the burial costs, which apparently were like 60 grand, came across Trump's desk, he apparently said, it doesn't cost 60 grand to bury a fucking Mexican. No video proof, no audio proof. If this happened, why didn't it come out when it happened? Why two weeks before election day? It's clearly a fake story. It's clearly fake news. It's clearly propaganda. And we're no longer falling for it anymore. We are not falling for the fake news anymore. And as a Mexican American, I proudly stand with Donald Trump. That will not change. And the problem is the left wing media overplayed their hands. When you demonize a man for 10 years straight, the demonization stops meaning anything anymore. It means nothing. So, it is what it is. I don't think Donald Trump said it. God bless Trump. Trump or Kamala? Nah, Trump. You're with Trump? Trump. Hell yeah, make sure you vote early. Oh, today, right? It starts, yeah, you can go today, tomorrow. Most polls are open between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. We gotta swamp the polls, we gotta make it too big to rig. So vote early, guys. So normally there's like a, um, street performances here but nothing's going on here today there's a big pile of sand where the street performers usually perform check it out it's probably going to take months for them to fix what happened to this beach it's going to take months trump or kamala uh trump oh god bless you <laughs> did you vote already no all right make sure you vote early polls I, are open okay between 7 a.m and 7 p.m okay all you right got it. we got to swamp the polls make it too big to rig I, all right. Remember, guys, we cannot let them steal the election for a second time in a row. They did it in 2020. We cannot let them do it again in 2024. Too big to rig. Stop the steal. Beat the cheat. Swamp the polls. And then once Trump gets in, we're going to drill, baby, drill. We're going to build the wall. And we're going to have a great economy again. We're going to have a great economy again. That's what's going to happen. So my two friends are here. We're going to do a food review for you guys. This is a bit of a different type of food review. So let's get into it.
We're back with the food review, guys, and uh, we have a really great product for you guys today. I'm not sure you heard of CMOS, but he is the king of CMOS, and we're going to talk about his product. First, explain your hack. Uh, yeah, so if you take a look at the hat, it says, what's that say? It says, make America healthy again. How can you argue with that? What is, like, like that's not even, like, we didn't even have to get anything, not even anything political. That's just a general statement that you should just, like, adhere to no matter where you are on the planet, you know? That's right. I, you know what? It's just, like, I'm... Last couple of weeks, I'm just, I was reminiscing about living here in America and the food I'm eating. I'm tired of getting poisoned. Yeah. We've been getting poisoned our entire fucking lives. Well, man. for decades at least. Yes. And RFK Jr.'s agenda is to clean up our food supply source and make sure we're all healthier. But one thing you guys can do is start to incorporate foods like CMOS into your diet. So tell me what you have in your hand right now. All right, Let's bring so, it to the camera. So a lot of times, you know, a lot of people may have heard of CMOS. CMOS is a superfood. It's a uh, it's a type of algae, and there's a lot of blanket statements. I gotta tell you, and there's a lot of blanket statements that really upset me, man. Like, really upset me. And that's why we got into this. One of the blanket statements is it has 92 of the 102 minerals that your body needs every day. You know what? Can I swear? Yeah. It's bullshit. Like, it's as diverse as marijuana, as weed. As many strains as there are of marijuana, there's as many there's that many strains of CMOS. It doesn't have 92. Some have more. Some have less. You know. So this is my wife, Mira, you know? And whenever we took this business serious about a year and a half ago, we sourced sea moss from all over the planet, up on the entire coast of Africa, into the Philippines, into Thailand, into Europe, into St. Lucia and all those islands over there. Wow. And, you know, and what we did was, you know, when you start to talk, nobody really knows about this stuff, right? And so the best place to get your education is from the actual divers. all these blanket statements and stuff and then i took it a step further i'm like you know let's just cut out the middleman and let's go call these these divers remember she'd be mad at me why are you on your phone at 3 30 in the morning well i'm talking to a diver in ghana why are you on your phone and like well there's this, this this guy in tanzania that i'm talking to you know oh, what are you talking to you know because that's whenever we're up right and what we found out is that well there's three types of sea moss I've never heard of pool. I've never even seen pool grown on the market. But that's just utterly disgusting. The two most popular ones are what's called rope grown and rock grown. 90% of the sea moss on the market is rope grown. And there's nothing wrong with rope grown. That's literally sea moss growing on the ropes. It is, under yeah. the ocean. 100%. Okay. And what they do is they take these two sticks and they tie a rope to it. And they seed it and they let it grow. And it's really great for a photo op. And the most popular stuff is from the St. Lucia Islands. <clears throat> and you get these fantastic commercials. <gasps> This rope grown sea moss from St. Lucia Islands. Look at the pristine waters and blah, blah, blah. And they take the boat out there and they dive in the water. And the guy comes out with the sea moss. Ah, oh, look at the sea moss. Oh, we have the sea moss, right? And it's fine. It's okay. But this stuff ain't cheap. If you're going to pay money for this stuff, you might as well go for the higher quality stuff. And that's by far the rock grown. Now, those who know about Dr. Sevy, a lot of you have heard of Dr. Sevy. He's the kind of the one that has made this stuff popular. And he will tell you, that the most nutrient dense uh, sea moss is harvested from the rocks, okay? So we just talked about rope grown and you explained it very well, it's, it's what it is. It's seeded sea moss on a rope. Well, rock grown is what you would think it is. It's, it's grown on the rocks. So in contrast to the, to, to the beautiful water and pristine waters that the rope is grown in, it needs a tumultuous environment. It needs a violent uh, environment from the back and forth motion of the, the ocean to propagate its growth. It gets its mineral content from the rocks and it's comp it comprises 10% of the sea moss on the market. It's harder to harvest for the diver because it's more dangerous. It's more expensive. And if you're at one of our um, displays, because we vend all over the, the Tampa area and stuff like that, we have examples of rope grown and rock grown. Now, if when you're, what, now they take the sea moss and they dry it out in the sun and it, it dehydrates and then ship it to people like me and then we rehydrate it so whenever you rehydrate the rope grown it'll literally expand four times the size of what you originally started with therefore you can make more moss and blah 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 this rock grown it will barely expand mm. so not only is it more expensive for people like us to buy it's uh you need more of it to make the same amount it's more nutrient rich. And if, and if you could see, if you want to go to my website, seasoulseamoss.com, you can see examples and I have tutorials all over the place. You can even see the rope grown is a bland uniform color. It's like, it's kind of like the color of your shirt, you know? And it's, like I said, it's fine. I ate it for decades. But the rock grown is multicolored. It has texture. It has, it just looks like something that's a lot more healthier. Wow. Right? 
That's cool. And that's, uh, that's we'll that's include that's some the pictures here in the, the video so you guys can kind of see what he's talking about. Now, can we do a taste test? Absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. Oh, you brought spoons. Absolutely. <laughs> How many spoons did you bring? I brought one for you. All right, we already know what it tastes like. <laughs> I've had it before, guys, and I got to say, it is pretty tasty. And, and if you want to talk about the benefits of it, it's a lot. A lot of benefits, yeah, right? Yeah, tell me about what, what it does like, for you. Based on my experience, I'm taking it like examples if I feel like I'm going to get sick. And then I started eating it first thing in the morning. And then it helps you to prevent sickness. It's not going to make you heal, but at least it will help you to prevent that kind of sickness to happen. And it makes it gives you also an energy. And also like um, when you something like do workout at gym, it will also gives you energy with that and helps you also ease those soreness afterwards. Awesome. Yeah. You know, younger people like you, it's going to give you energy. Older people, if you're suffer, if you have any kind of mineral lack in mineral content that your body is, is compromised from, it's going to correct that issue. Look at the color. Yeah, let's look at the composition, guys. It looks like a, uh, almost like a jello, jelly? Jelly. All right, here we go, guys. Yeah, Which flavor is this? Which flavor elderberry and agave. Yeah. Ooh, elderberry and agave. Here we go, guys. Taste test for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. I could eat so much of that stuff. It's like a nice jelly consistency. It melts in your mouth. I definitely get a lot of flavors. And uh, most importantly, I'm healthier right now than I was 10 seconds ago. So <laughs> that's a good product. Thank you very much. We take a lot of pride in it. We put a lot of work into this, a lot of work. Where can we buy this? Research. You can go to Cecil Seamoss, S-E-A-S-O-U-L, Seamoss, S-E-A-M-O-S-S.com, CecilCMOS.com, or we just got approved by the Department of Agriculture. We're cleared by them. We ship all over the country. If you use discount code ADAM, you can get 10% off, right? There you so go. make sure you, you, when you're at checkout, you use ADAM ADAM for 10% off. Awesome. And, um, and that's it. So we have we, we have uh, elderberry and agave, we have Ceylon cinnamon and honey, and plain. So, you know, plain is for the hardcore people or the people who just, you know, they put it in their salads or whatever. A tablespoon or two, right, be right at breakfast as soon as you wake up. Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you for the uh, explanation of CMOS. Thank you for And guys, time. go support his business. The website's going to be below in the description as well as here on screen. So go check it out. And uh, thanks for joining me for the food review today. Bye. 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 Trump or Kamala? Oh! Come on, come back here. Disappointed. 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 Nothing disappoints me more than a Kamala voter. Nothing. Ooh. Trump or Kamala? Uh, Kamala. Kamala, of course. Oh, come on. Who's your girlfriend's boyfriend going to be voting for? <laughs> the right is better at memeing than the left. Oh, 100%. That's, that's that, what that's I realized. We have, we have a better sense of humor 100%. than the left does. For, 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 for years now. It's getting a little busy here, guys, today. That it's nighttime, the sunset. One of the best places to watch the sunset, actually, is here in Clearwater Beach. So come on down at around, I don't know what time it is, 6.45. Watch the sunset down here during the winter time. It's beautiful. Trump or Kamala? Trump. You're voting for Trump or Kamala? Uh, Kamala, all the way, baby. Oh, no. We don't want more war. We want less war. We want to get the inflation rates under control. We had, hey, crazy's fine as long as he performs and does the job. As long as he does the job, I don't care about his personality. Policy over personality. That's what's going on here. And don't forget, guys, make sure you vote early. Vote as early as possible. Swamp the polls. Beat the cheat. Too big to rig. Stop the steal. Republican down ballot, guys. We need Republicans to dominate this election. But this is the first time I voted, and it's because of you. Thank you. you. Know? And whenever I went, whenever I called on Shorter Nelson, that's what I told him too. I said, "You're the reason why." This is the first time I ever voted in an election. Congrats. No, no, no thank you. Now you you're know? finally an American. You know, you know, we you know, we just understood the dynamic of politics leading up to this point. I mean, every regime was the same. It was pretty much a unique party the whole time. Two wings of the same bird. You talking? Yeah. yeah, you're talking like you know, from the Bushes to the Clintons to the Obamas. They're yeah. the same family. And that's know? exactly why Cheney endorsed Kamala Harris because they're all. They're all the uniparty. Absolutely. And Trump's the outsider. And that's why I was very surprised whenever Hillary won, because it was just the, the final seal of nail in the coffin, yeah. you know? Well, they took down Bernie. Right. They, they rigged did. it against yeah, Bernie. They, they, they ripped them off of that, you know? Yeah. So, but, and, and you, they, what is it? They say that a lot of voters 
that are, are, are neglecting to vote. They're not, they're not, they're not voting because they think it's in the bag or they think, and it's so important to get out there and vote. It's just so important to like, because it is, it, it's, can be too big to, 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 to rig. Yeah. And we got to make sure of that. And I think Trump even came off and he said like most gun owners, you got a lot of people in Florida? Yep. Florida? A lot of them own guns, even yep. across America. You know, he said the majority of gun owners don't vote, you yep. know? What are you thinking? This is not the time to do that right now. You know? Guys, so even though we're seeing a lot of promising signs through early voting data, through the poly market, betting market up 30 points right now, we can't get complacent. And it could be a strategy to make us feel like we got it in the bag, let's stay home. We don't, we don't. We gotta act like we're down by 30 points. So make sure you get out there, bring a friend, and uh, definitely vote, guys. Swamp, swamp, swamp the polls. You voting Trump or Kamala? Neither. Who are you going with? Nobody. You're not voting? Come on, you got to be an American and use your vote. Oh, as long as it's for Trump. If it's not for Trump, then don't use your vote. <laughs> then I agree with you. Stay home. Trump or Kamala? It's a video. Trump or Kamala? Right. 45 times 2. That's right. He goes, See, he wants to keep his kid out of war. Yeah, He's smart. Exactly. Because if you vote for Kamala, all your nieces and nephews, they're going to get drafted and they're going to be fighting in Kiev. Ladies, Trump or Kamala? They said thank you as if I offered them something. Trump or Kamala? <laughs> Trump or Kamala? Trump, Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump. Yes. It's because you're a real man. That's right. Donald J. Trump is going to be the next president, number 47. Number 45 and number 47. And I cannot wait to see the meltdown from the left when Donald Trump wins this. I cannot wait for the meltdown. The sun is almost down, guys, so that's gonna, we're, we're heading towards the end of the video. You guys know what to do if you like my channel, gibsongo.com slash Adam Francisco. I'm the only man fighting a terminal illness while still fighting for this country, the Constitution, and Donald J. Trump. And I will say this, though, I'm probably a little less terminal now that I had some CMOS. So make sure you watch the food review and learn about the power and health benefits of CMOS. And we're gonna have RFK help make this country healthy again. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Oh, you guys said it already. <laughs> Let me shake your hands. We'll do too. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Took me a while to understand what you were talking Yeah, because she's got a unique name. And guys, before I end this video, I want to share a song by my friend Lizzie Larguera. She is a Mexican-American diehard Trump supporter. She made this song, it's called No A Kamala, which translates to No To Kamala. Check it out wherever you listen to music, Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. It is a great song, so enjoy it. And thank you for supporting her. Safety, con Kamala, oh.